Okay, so I'm out hiking again in the same area that I was in when I did the last blog post. Oh man. Uh, I'm in a high spot here on the logging road and I can see a body of water out there. And that body of water, I know, is Little Cork Lake. And that's what I'm trying to get to, Little Cork Lake. Not to hike there. I can't hike there from here. Well, I probably could, but it would be difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> because it would be uh, bushwhacking. But um, there is a river that runs into the Little Quirk Lake and it goes all the way over here towards this logging road. And it gets pretty close to the end of this logging road here. So what I want to see is I want to get to the end of this logging road and see if I can find a way to get my kayak into the river there and paddle into Little Quirk. According to the map, it does look possible because that river is not a fast flowing river. It's a pretty um, calm river. So I should be able to paddle both into Little Quirk and back up here. But the question is, first of all, can I drive in here? And the second question is, can I get the, the kayak into the river from the end of this road? Um, there are some rough parts in this road. You certainly need four-wheel drive and uh, a high-clearance vehicle. If it was wet, it'd be a lot worse. Um, but so far, I can get my truck in here. I'm hiking in here now simply because I don't trust these roads. I've gone into roads like this before and they got really narrow and I come to a place where there's a bridge out or something I can't get across and I have to back all the way out for a long distance and I don't like that. <laughs> Besides, I need the exercise and I love hiking anyways, so I'm hiking in here the first time. If I find that I can get my kayak into the river down here, I'll be driving in here and it'll be really, you know, pretty good access for me because once I get into the river down here, if I can, there's a lot of things, a lot of places I can paddle to. You know, not just Little Quirk, there's other rivers that flow out of uh, Little Quirk and, I, and they look navigable too, so. It, and there's a lot of islands in Little Quirk, it's a wilderness lake, you can't get to it uh, any other way, but unless you, get, you go by trail. There's another trail I know of to get there, but you, you really need an ATV uh, to get a boat down there because it's a long trail. So some people do bring uh, boats. There are boats already down there. <laughs> I have to keep on hitting deer flies on me. There are some aluminum boats at that other uh, end of the other trail into Little Quirk. And you can bring your own motor and uh, put it on one of the boats there. You're allowed to do that. They even had a sign there saying you can use the boats uh, as long as you put them back. Uh, yeah, but you still have to bring uh, an outboard motor in or else <laughs> Well, if you want to paddle one of those aluminum boats, that would be pretty hard, but you probably could paddle at a short distance and uh, do some fishing. But that's not what I'm all about. I'm about traveling on the water and I need my kayak. So I want to get my kayak in there. And that's why I'm uh, doing this hike in here today. So let's keep going and see if we can get the end, the end of this uh, bush road. 